M0FX B, welcome to my channel. Finally, I've been looking and looking. I found the UV17 software at this link here, which is bofungradio.com slash pages slash download. So let's actually test it now. We've got the radio connected. I'll show you what my radio looks like. It's one of the, these style radios. So let's just click UV17R. There is a manual as well. We may as well have the manual. Sure, that's going to be helpful as well. No pictures. Oh, we like pictures. But anyway, that's the radio. That's the programming software there. Let's run it. Radio is already connected at the moment using a Bofun cable. So we're just going to go. Oh, we do want a shortcut, and it's called the T6 UV. Finish. There's your software. Cables in the PC. Just a UV5R cable. I'll put a link in. Device manager. Double click. Com. It's a USB serial CX340 and we're on COM11. So we just go settings, port, COM. Click it. Select 11. And hopefully we can now read the radio. Yay, finally, it's literally taken me about two hours to find this software. And we've got some programming in there. So let's just quickly, we'll, have, we'll create a new one. So at the bottom here. So this is for the UV17 Pro and the G30 and the UV20. Let's go 145.600. Let's select our tone of 94.8 for GB3WR and you can name it as well. TX frequency, so your C would be 145 zero on it in this case 94 high power wide or narrow scan or not scan and multiple click add and then we can name it here so we go caps g b 3 w r uh, we haven't got much in there at the moment let's add in my node 434.550 Sorry, 77 hertz, 434.550. We do need tone 77 hertz. So we don't need the receive tone. That's my, you can have it. You won't get all the noise in the background, but I just leave it off. I like to hear the noise and the bips. Uh, it's simplex, TX tone. We do need to open that one up. Low power's fine. Scan out, I might as well add it in there. Uh, name, hub now. H U B N E T, and we could do another one, say 430.925. That is GB3 FI 438.525. Uh, I'll type that wrong 438.525. Uh, that one will be 77. We need to put this one back onto 94.8 here for GB3WR. That's better. We put the shift in. Yeah, we'll keep that high power. And that one is GB3FI. And I'll add a load more. So, what else have we got in here? Just settings. We can open a completely new file. We can save what we just did. Give that a name as um, UV17. Just save it anywhere for now. Let's do it to my downloads. Save. Um, channel list VFO mode. Let's have a look. VFO mode. That's what that's in. I wonder if this one, I know it's not advertised as a GPS radio. Function. See any GPS settings? You've got squelch, timeout. Display, you can either have, you know, the name, the frequency or the number. I'll leave it on name for now. On B, I'll, I'll put it as frequency, so we can have a best of both. VFO mode, reset. Power on. You can actually have a, a you know a photograph to power on. 
Seems okay. Normal sort of type settings. Roger beep. Close that down. No sign of GPS. Done port, tools, power on, picture. We're not going to do that now. Uh, read and write here. Or you can do it where it says program. Save, we just did. New. Oh, <laughs> good job, I saved it. File. Open. That was lucky, wasn't it? Right, write to radio. We have an error, but it still might have worked. Um, try it again. But anyway, this video, because I'm going to do a much better video on programming, this video is a link to the manual and the software for the UV17R20. G30 UV20. Bye for now, 7-3.